what's up guys, welcome back to 65 Drums. So I have a slight obsession with music stores. I've put a lot of miles on my car traveling to this music store or to that music store. I go to a lot of the classic ones such as Sweetwater, Guitar Centers, Sam Ashes, and there's another line of music stores in the United States called Music Go Round, which I always go back to because they always have some of the weirdest stuff. They're basically the pawn shop of music stores. They only sell used guitars, used speakers, used drum sets, and because they sell used gear, they find some of the wackiest stuff that I've never even heard of before. And while I was there last time, I found this, a $5 mesh pad. Because it was $4.99, I bought two of them. So before we plug it into the TD50, let's take a quick look at the pad and see what we have here. We'll try to guess what we have here. This is a very, very thin pad. It's a very, very lightweight pad as well. It seems to have some threads on the back of the pad. I don't know what you would uh, connect this to, but some sort of stand. Nearer the end of the video, I think I'm actually gonna take apart one of these and just see what's inside. And by the way, stay to the end of the video because I'm gonna give away one of these pads to somebody, and it might be you. So this is the placement I decided to use with these two pads. I got one in place of the secondary floor tom, and I've got one as like a side snare over here. You'll notice that I have a couple of other upgrades, especially if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen these. Got some field hi-hats, the two-piece, and this is actually metal. Really, really fun to play with. Uh, CY18R, so the digital ride symbol, and a Roland TD50 module instead of the Mimic or the TD30. These are all courtesy of Michael, who is letting me borrow them for a while to make some videos about. Also, I've got some uh, new pedals, some DW5000s. I absolutely love these things. I've always wanted some DW5000s. We need to hook these up, so gotta go over here. I recently made a cable wall, so it's just easy to find all the stuff that I need. So, two cables, so I can hook these up. And I'm also going to be importing some samples from my laptop over to the TD50 so that we have something to play with. I don't just want to use the internal sounds, even though the TD50 sounds are excellent. I uh, downloaded some samples a long time ago. We got like, make a custom kit and just play around and just see what we can come up with.
So now that I've recorded the drumming clips, what do I think of them? They've actually performed fairly decently. They're definitely worth the $5, I'll say that. They've also been fun because of how small they are. I usually don't like small electronic drums, but when you're just adding a side snare, this is kind of like uh, the next best thing to a sample pad. You know, just having a lot of extra little sounds. You can trigger samples with these, you can trigger loops with these, whatever you want to do. Okay, so let's open the sucker up. All right, so it seems to be like a fairly thick, like one ply mesh head. And actually, they, the, when you unscrew this, it goes all the way through to the other side. There's three trigger foam rods here, but I think the only one that's real is this guy right here. So I'm gonna flip this over and then take this box apart. So that's interesting. There's the piezo right there underneath of it, and then it's wired this little input jack right here. Really, really simple setup. It's all just mounted onto a plastic plate. These are just there for extra support, and there's no other electronic bits at all.